Krishnanak Raisin, a revered pharmacist who devoted herself to promoting the local production and increasing access to life-saving medicines in Africa, has won the Global Women's Leadership Award 2022 from the Global Summit of Women held in Bangkok last week. Let's find out more about this extraordinary woman. Dr. Krishna Graysin is the former director of the Research and Development Institute of the Government Pharmaceutical Organization, or GPO, of the Ministry of Public Health. Between 2002 and 2007, Dr. Krishna worked as a pharmaceutical consultant for Action Meteor, a German aid organization dealing with the production and distribution of medicines in Africa. Guided by her belief that healthcare is the basic human right, Krishna has worked tirelessly to make medicines affordable to even the poorest in the world. Her generic versions of HIV drugs reduce the risk of mother-to-child transmission while dramatically lowering treatment costs and saving and improving countless lives. She also developed one of the first generic fixed-dose combinations chosen by WHO as the first regimen treatment for HIV-AIDS patients in poor countries. Known as the pharmacist of the poor, gypsy pharmacist and a good doctor, she has also dedicated her pharmaceutical skills to reducing treatment costs for malaria and other diseases. Dr. Kisina has spearheaded projects to initiate local production of anti-malarial and antiretroviral drugs in West African countries and has provided technical assistance to foster capacity building and local production of anti-malarial drugs in 17 African countries. Previously, she has led a drug addict rehabilitation program in Peru that fosters income-generating livelihoods for people in recovery. Currently, Dr. Kisina is working in cooperation with universities, hospitals, and organizations in the Philippines, Indonesia, China, Turkey, Peru, the Netherlands, and African countries on a number of projects in herbal medicine, sustainable development, and exchange of expertise in research, formulation, development, and industrial production. The humble pharmacist also shared what she learned during her time in Africa, the concept of Ubuntu, which means I am because we are. In her interpretation of Ubuntu, it is the collective duty of care that strengthens communities and countries. It is capable of making a positive impact on the future of society. Dr. Krishna encourages all to remain resilient no matter how challenging life can be and work together for the betterment of all people. Well, actually, it's, it's an honor for me to receive this uh, international award, which I feel is very important because, uh, uh, you know, you, you signify the importance of being a women, woman. And uh, I like uh, women all over the world, whatever countries you are, or you are rich, you are poor, white or black or whatever, uh, to help each other. Actually, there are only three key words in my, in my work, in all, all my life, I work. Empowerment, that means you have to teach people. I mean, of course, both men and women can do the same. Teach people and then you, you, want to, you have to make people feel that they are equal, equal to each other. And then uh, they will be dignified or dignity. The dignity will be uh, with them. And that, that, that means they will be very happy if they are all like this, you know. So my, actually, my, my purpose for doing all this is to make them happy. There's nothing else. Really?